Hey YouTube, how y'all doing today? Um, today I've just got a little quick uh, tip here on the Baofeng UV5R and that is manually storing a repeater into the channel mode. So as you can see I'm in channel mode, this is channel 7 and I've actually seen a lot of comments online and people talking about how you're not able to program a repeater with offsets into into the channel mode manually and that it has to be done with the chirp software and I actually figured out that that's not the case and there's a way around it um, some firmwares on the Baofeng radio there's a glitch that makes this um, slightly more of a pain to program them in it's actually just one extra step and it's really not that big of a deal but it's something that if you don't know how uh, you're just going to assume that you have to use the chirp software to program a repeater in with an offset into a channel mode. Um, so anyway, let me show you the little trick and uh, what happens if you don't do this. So let me go ahead and show you that I'm in channel mode and then I'm going to delete this frequency out and I'm going to re-add it. So that's frequency mode. Channel mode. We're in channel mode here. And just to show you when I transmit, it does go up. Uh, by 5 kilohertz. So it did go up. So let's go ahead and delete this out. Let's go back into frequency mode because we're going to go ahead and reprogram this and uh, delete this out. So we're going to reprogram in. Okay. So let's go ahead and delete out uh, channel 7. Okay, so channel 7 is gone now, and we're going to go ahead and re-add it. And I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do this. Okay, so this is the repeater in my local area. It's about 22 miles away, and um, I can hit this. Um, it, it doesn't have a receive tone, but it has an offset tone. So let's go ahead and set that offset tone. So no receive tone, and actually I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, program that in now. So just confirm that transmit tone, and the offset is a positive five kilohertz. Okay, so this should be programmed in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and tell it to go to channel 7. Memory channel. Memory. And you hear it said receiving memory. So it should be in there technically, right? So let's go ahead and move over there to channel 7. Okay, so there's channel 7. So if I transmit, it should transmit on 449.525. But it's not. So this is the um, glitch in this firmware that I was talking about. If you don't do this extra step, it's not going to work manually. And like others are saying, you're going to have to use the Chirp software. But actually, you don't have to use the Chirp software. So the missing step that we need to do is we need to retransmit this again. So we transmitted it first normally just like we would have and it should have worked technically but it didn't so basically what you need to do is in back in your frequency mode after we've transmitted it the first time we need to do it again except this time we need to hit the scan button just tap it once and you'll see that it changes the frequency and this is what we need to program to that same memory bank so we first programmed the 444 to the channel 7 now we need to do this 449 to channel 7 as well so we'll go back to the menu and we'll retransmit it. And then this time, instead of it saying receiving memory, it's going to say transmitting memory. Memory channel. Transmitting memory. So the first time it said receiving memory, the second time it said transmitting memory. That's what we want. It's a two step programming process, and for whatever reason, it, it makes it work. So once we exit it out, channel go to channel 7.
we'll see that now it finally programmed it in properly like it should have done in the first place, but it didn't for whatever reason. So there we have it. It programmed in the offset properly. So again, in summary, when you're in frequency mode, get the settings for this channel all the way that you want them. Get everything set the way you want it to be. Transmit it regularly. Go back here. Hit the scan button. You'll see that it changes the frequency. Go ahead and transmit it to that same bank. And then that will set it properly the way it should be. So anyway, hopefully this helps. It's kind of a weird glitch, but hopefully this helps you field program it. And for those that don't have cables that still want to be able to program a bunch of repeaters into the channels, um, it makes it a whole lot easier than having to go back to the channel mode or the frequency mode and manually program them in every time. So anyway, I hope this helped you guys. Check out my other video I'm going to be making on my Nagoya NA771 antenna that I've got on here. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Just leave them below. And uh, have a good one, guys. Thanks.